Tesla was born on July 10, 1856, in the Austrian Empire town of Smiljan that is now part of Croatia. He was one of five children, including siblings Dane, Angelina, Milka, and Marika. Nikola's interest in electrical invention was spurred by his mother, Juka Mandic, who invented small household appliances in her spare time while her son was growing up. Tesla's father, Militant Tesla, was a Serbian Orthodox priest and a writer, and he pushed for his son to join the priesthood. But Nikola's interests lay squarely in the sciences. Tesla received quite a bit of education. He studied at the Realschule, Karlstadt, later renamed the Johann Rudolf Glauber Realschule Karlstadt, in Germany, the Polytechnic Institute in Graz, Austria, and the University of Prague during the 1870s. After university, Tesla moved to Budapest, Hungary, where for a time he worked at the Central Telephone Exchange. It was while in Budapest that the idea for the induction motor first came to Tesla, but after several years of trying to gain interest in his invention, at age 28, Tesla decided to leave Europe for America. In 1884, Tesla arrived in the United States with little more than the clothes on his back and a letter of introduction to famed inventor and business mogul Thomas Edison, whose DC-based electrical works were fast becoming the standard in the country. Edison hired Tesla, and the two men were soon working tirelessly alongside each other, making improvements to Edison's inventions. Several months later, the two parted ways due to a conflicting business-scientific relationship, attributed by historians to their incredibly different personalities. While Edison was a power figure who focused on marketing and financial success, Tesla was commercially out of touch and somewhat vulnerable. Their feud would continue to affect Tesla's career. In 1885, Tesla received funding for the Tesla Electric Light Company and was tasked by his investors to develop improved arc lighting. After successfully doing so, however, Tesla was forced out of the venture and, for a time, had to work as a manual laborer in order to survive. His luck changed two years later when he received funding for his new Tesla Electric Company. Tesla designed the alternating current AC electrical system, which quickly became the preeminent power system of the 20th century and has remained the worldwide standard ever since. In 1887, Tesla found funding for his new Tesla Electric Company, and by the end of the year, he had successfully filed several patents for AC-based inventions. Tesla's AC system soon caught the attention of American engineer and businessman George Westinghouse, who was seeking a solution to supplying the nation with long-distance power. Convinced that Tesla's inventions would help him achieve this, in 1888, he purchased his patents for $60,000 in cash and stock in the Westinghouse Corporation. As interest in an AC system grew, Tesla and Westinghouse were put in direct competition with Thomas Edison, who was intent on selling his direct current DC system to the nation. A negative press campaign was soon waged by Edison in an attempt to undermine interest in AC power. Unfortunately for Edison, the Westinghouse Corporation was chosen to supply the lighting at the 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, and Tesla conducted demonstrations of his AC system there. In 1895, Tesla designed what was among the first AC hydroelectric power plants in the United States, at Niagara Falls. The following year, it was used to power the city of Buffalo, New York, a feat that was highly publicized throughout the world and helped further AC electricity's path to becoming the world's power system. In the late 19th century, Tesla patented the Tesla coil, which laid the foundation for wireless technologies and is still used in radio technology today. The heart of an electrical circuit, the Tesla coil is an inductor used in many early radio transmission antennas. The coil works with a capacitor to resonate current and voltage from a power source across the circuit. Tesla used his coil to study fluorescence, X-rays, radio, wireless power, and electromagnetism in the Earth and its atmosphere. Having become obsessed with the wireless transmission of energy, around 1900, Tesla set to work on his boldest project yet, to build a global, wireless communication system transmitted through a large electrical tower that would enable information sharing and provide free energy throughout the world. 
With funding from a group of investors that included financial giant J.P. Morgan, Tesla began work on the free energy project in earnest in 1901. He designed and built a lab with a power plant and a massive transmission tower on a site on Long Island, New York, that became known as Wardenclyffe. However, doubts arose among his investors about the plausibility of Tesla's system. As his rival, Guglielmo Marconi, with the financial support of Andrew Carnegie and Thomas Edison, continued to make great advances with his own radio technologies, Tesla had no choice but to abandon the project. The Wardenclyffe staff was laid off in 1906, and by 1915, the site had fallen into foreclosure. Two years later, Tesla declared bankruptcy, and the tower was dismantled and sold for scrap to help pay the debts he had accrued. After suffering a nervous breakdown following the closure of his wireless power project, Tesla eventually returned to work, primarily as a consultant. But as time went on, his ideas became progressively more outlandish and impractical. He grew increasingly eccentric, devoting much of his time to the care of wild pigeons in the parks of New York City. Tesla even drew the attention of the FBI with his talk of building a powerful death ray, which had received some interest from the Soviet Union during World War II. On January 7, 1943, at the age of 86, Tesla died in his room, number 3327, in a New York hotel. His body was found by worker Alice Monahan after she entered Tesla's room, ignoring the do not disturb sign that Tesla had placed on the door two days before his death. Assistant physician Wembley examined the body and determined that the cause of death was blockage in the arteries of the heart. Two days after the death, the FBI filed a request with the unknown estate trust to seize Tesla's property even though Tesla was an American citizen. Michigan Tech University professor John J. Trump, an electrical engineer who served as a technical assistant to the National Defense Research Service, was called in to analyze the seized Tesla belongings. After three days of investigation, Trump's report concluded that there was no danger in these materials in Tesla's hands, explaining that in a box purported to contain part of the death Ray Trump found a 45-year-old multi-contract resistance box. On January 10, New York Mayor Fiorello LaGuardia read a eulogy at Tesla's funeral in St. John's Cathedral. After the funeral, Tesla's body was taken to Funcliffe Cemetery in Ardsley, New York City, where it was laid to rest. Nikola Tesla is one of these people and despite the fact that he did not perhaps receive the money or recognition he deserved in his lifetime, he has since his death been immortalized, as one of the greatest and most important inventors to have ever lived.